you feel you've been trapped in these lackluster relationships, but this is going to move swiftly. That you are going to have to cut some folks off. Hey, Capricorn, hello, hello. Welcome to your weekly reading for the week of March 17th through March 23rd. I'm Tiffany. This is Wasted Traditions Tarot. I've already blessed my decks of cards and shuffled them. Remember, I read intuitively, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Let's see what spirit needs you to know. Capricorn, twin flames, soul partner, eternal connection. Capricorn, twin flames, soul partner, eternal connection. Now, twin flame... Um, does not have to be a romantic connection. A lot of people think it's absolutely romantic, but that's not always the case, right? They just really connect with you on a deep, soulful level. It's like you've always known each other in past lives. So just understand it could be romantic, but it does not have to be romantic, right? With this twin flame, soul partner, eternal connection, I feel like Spirit is telling you there is a higher, um, a higher frequency for you to connect with a person that lives at a frequency that is not normal. They live in a frequency of abundance and joy, and they really have their a hold on life. Their spiritual connection that they carry with their higher self. I feel like spirit is pointing you in that direction. Capricorn, like this person is coming toward you very soon. And once you meet them, you'll realize that it'll feel like you've known them forever, you know, and more than likely you have just in different lifetimes, right? Let's see what the tarot has to tell us. Eight of cups, Five of Cups, mm -hmm. Ace of Cups, wow, a lot of emotional energy here, Capricorn, and Eight of Wands. All right, so Capricorn, there is what I'm feeling here for you. The connections you've had recently, um, they have not been as fulfilling to you. They have not been very successful they it seems like what i'm feeling it seems like these recent connections you've had with people um they're kind of draining to you and it doesn't really feel good you're feeling like it's not right it's time to walk away um this connection isn't worth my energy and spirit is telling you you're right because that's not your twin flame. When you find that twin flame, it's empowering. It doesn't drain you. It actually powers you up. And then with the five of cups, you're definitely feeling like you've lost a lot of time, wasted a lot of energy on people who have done more taking than giving to you, Capricorn. And then... What I'm feeling here is you absolutely have a chance for a new start, a new beginning. You can create a new relationship. You will find that person. And it looks like you're going to find that individual that really connects with you on a soul level and becomes your soul partner. You're going to find them swiftly. Like it's really happening faster than we realize, Capricorn. Queen of Pentacles. Let's do this. Queen of Pentacles. The sun. Wow, this is beautiful. Look at this. Knight of Swords. All because they're coming in quickly. Right. Okay. So it's interesting to get the Eight of Swords with the Eight of Wands. You feel like you've been trapped in these lackluster relationships, Capricorn, even the platonic ones. And I really feel like that's more your focus, your friendships, the family you create, the family you choose. And I feel like you've, you feel you've been trapped in these lackluster relationships, but this is going to move swiftly that you are going to have to cut some folks off. You're going to have to cut some folks off in order to 
gain your confidence back in people, in humanity, right? Because walking away and feeling lost, knowing there's a new beginning for you to find your soul partner, that person that connects with you on the deepest level, it's happening rapidly. There's really not a lot. I would say within the next uh, two to four weeks, this person is coming toward you. So keep your heart open. Don't stay in the loss and the grief. Open your heart again. Begin again. Be accepting and um, receiving of being able to find a loving, deep, connective friendship, right? Because we have the Queen of Pentacles here. Okay, Capricorn, we have Queen of Pentacles. This is a time to nurture your heart is what I'm feeling. This is a time to nurture your heart, dismantle and, and release yourself from the entrapped feeling of, you know, not having the right people in your corner. Give, your chan give yourself a chance to be receptive, be nurturing. Also be discerning and practical because you're coming to your sun moment. Okay, Capricorn, you're coming to your sun moment where you will find that successful soul partner. And again, you'll feel like you've known each other forever, even though you're just meeting them on in this lifetime for the first time, right? Take action. The, the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Wands is talking swift action. Take action now. Go ahead, start to do some meditating. Forgive yourself for not uh, letting the right folks in, Capricorn. We make mistakes, we live and we learn. But take rapid action now to begin to nurture yourself, release yourself from the, the disappointment, okay? Just release yourself from all that. Begin again. You can walk away from that disappointment. Walk away from it mentally. Walk away from that disappointment emotionally, Capricorn, because all things point to you are going to find your soul partner. You're going to find that eternal connection. Now, if it happens to be romantic, that's even better. That's a plus. You know, what's better than being partner with your, um, having your life partner be your best friend, your soul connection. But it doesn't necessarily have to be that, Capricorn. I do hope this resonates with you and it carries you through the week.